so we're here with uh, Brian Jepson, and he's going to show off his uh, fancy new toy. Yeah, Chris Connors wants to connect to the internet, and um, you know, the, we're we're here before Megaverse started, so the network's still getting set up. So I I brought my Verizon Wi-Fi and uh, a very cool little USB less EVDO thing. And by USB less, I'm actually kind of lying because it doesn't have a USB port. But what I mean is that it's an EVDO dongle. It's not a dongle. It's a hotspot. It's got EVDO and it's got Wi-Fi, and that's it. And it's made by Novatel Wireless. And Chris is about to connect, and um, it's, it's got a limit of five users on it, and it's got a really long password. Hey, stop trying to look at my password, man. And so, uh, so Chris is going to click connect, and then because he's using Windows XP for no good reason at all, it's going to make him type the password twice. And um, and you know because that's just what XP likes to do. Yeah. Okay. So you you have to run it off of the USB. Well, no, actually, no. It has a battery in it. I'm just leaving it plugged in at the moment because um, it's got about four hours of life. Uh, so w you can run it off a of USB, and it's actually kind of cool when you plug it into a computer and use it as a USB device. It um, actually changes modes and acts just like a, a, a dongle, which oh. is kind of neat. So that way you can do the initial activation and uh, firmware upgrades and such. <coughs> so yeah, it's a, it's a really neat device. It has a web-based interface tool um, as soon as Chris gets online. Yeah, you got a demo of that, man. That'd be cool. Yeah. I don't even see it now. Yeah, it might be taking a little while. Okay, so this is the interface to the fancy widget you have. Yeah, and if I type in the password, I could go in there and make some changes. Oh, well, that's cool. Yeah. Five gigs a month, and then there's overages, then there's a lower tier price. Okay. And uh, it gets you fewer gigs, I think, down to the Megabyte range. But then you have a soda one that's actually pretty cool. It sounds awful at first, but it's like $15 a day as, as you go. Mm -hmm. But remembering that I can do five people. Um, it's sort of like if you have five people all paying for Wi-Fi somewhere, that can get pretty pricey. So if you just need it occasionally, like when you're doing shows, you know, hey. like that, <laughs> you just need a quick, like, you know, couple days uh, set up and you need to bring in bandwidth, you know, that's one way to do it. Oh, that is very convenient. It is. And the price, for the price, not too bad. Yeah, and it's 100 bucks for a two-year time.